Hello everyone! So good day! How are you? Did you find the exam easy or difficult? Okay, so for today's video, we're going to answer your exam. So we will see who got the correct answer on your midterm exam. Okay. So, test answers. Are you ready? Okay, so let's begin. So, for the part one, we have multiple choice. So, here we're going to circle the correct answer. So, let's start with number what is the symbol of greatest number? Is it letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? So, what is the correct symbol? Okay, it is letter A. Good job! So, who got the correct answer? Very good. So, for number two, what is the symbol of equal? What is the symbol for equal sign? So, it is letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D. So, what is the answer? Is it letter B? Yes or no? Yes, yeah, so the symbol for equal sign is letter B. Okay, next is number 3. What is the smallest number? So let's see all the numbers. We have letter A, 23. Letter B, 60. Letter C, 45. And letter D, 98. So, what is the smallest number among these choices? So, let's see the ones. Ones. The letter A starts with, um, ends with 3. The ones is 3, 0, 5, and 8. So, the smallest number is zero right but let's check the tens who what number is the smallest two six four or nine so the smallest number is 23 good job because the smallest number is 2 okay next what is the greatest number is it 5 10 7 or 2 which one is the greatest number Okay, it is number 10. And then for this one, what is the place value of the underlined number? So, we have 987. So, the underlined number is 9. So, what is the place value of 9? Is it tens? Hundreds, ones, and or thousands. So let's check. Seven is ones. Eight is tens. How about nine? We have ones, tens, and hundreds. Good job. So now let's move on. 
to our next part which is fill in the blank so you're going to write the correct answer okay for this one we're going to make a number pattern by subtracting 2 so we're going to start at 210 so we're going to subtract 2 210 minus 2 what is the next number okay good job it is 208 next what is the next number to 208 208 minus 2 206 good job so 206 minus 2 is 204 and then the last number we have 202 okay this one we're going to make a number pattern by adding 100 okay in this question we're going to add 100 so we're going to start at 450 so 450 plus 100 is equal to 500 50. So next, 550 plus 100. 650. And next, 650 plus 100. 750. And then the last number, 750 plus 100, 850. Okay, did you get it correct? Good job. So we're going to write odd or even. Okay, so when we say odd, remember the number ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So when we say odd again, the number ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So here we got how many donuts? So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So is it odd or even? Odd. So next number. Okay, so we have bags. How many bags do we have? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So when we say even, the number ends with zero, two, four, six, and eight. So in this question, is it odd or even? Even. Good job. So the last one is we have one lollipop or one candy. Is it odd or even? Odd. So good job. Next, it is the last part and we're going to add the numbers. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so we're going to add 245 plus 914. So we're going to apply the simplest form or the simplest method, which is the vertical method. So 245 plus 914. First, we're going to add the ones. 5 plus 4 is equal to... 9. Good job. So, next, the tens. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And then the hundreds, 2 plus 9, 9, 10, 11. So, we have 1,159. So, the answer is 1,159. Next number, we have 
713 plus 444. So let's add the 1. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. And 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. And 7 plus 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So we have 1,157. So the answer is 1,157. So let's move on to the third number or number three. So we have 157. 14 plus 263. So we're going to add first the 1. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Good job. And 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 also. And next, 1 plus 2 is equal to Three. So we have 377. So the answer is 377. Next, we have 531 plus 28. So we're going to put it in the vertical form or vertical method. 1 plus 8 is equal to 8. Nine. So the tens to three plus two is equal to five, and then we're going to bring down five because five plus zero is equal to five. So we have five hundred fifty-nine. Okay, and then this is the last number. So we have 432 plus 47. So 432 and 47. So 2 plus 7 is equal to 7, 8, 9. So this 9. How about 3 plus 4? 3 plus 4, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're going to bring down 4. Since 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. So we have 479. Good job. Did you get it correct? Okay. So that's all for now. And I hope you learned a lot on this lesson and on this midterm so let's continue learning until the final so okay so thank you for answering your exam you really did a great job kids clap your hands okay very good so we're, we will continue our lesson next week and have fun kids keep safe bye